I wasn't meant to be speaking in this video, but something's just happened and I need to interrupt quickly to let you know. So I've just turned off the camera to go and do my foundation off camera and I don't have a Lux blender um, close to me and being lazy, I decided to use a brush for the first time in... <sighs> For the first time in about eight months, I've just used a brush and I'm hoping that you're going to be able to see this on camera because I, I want to show you what's happened because I cannot get this to work. One minute. Can you see? Let me zoom you in. Can you see all the patchy bits on my nose? Patchy all up here. All up here. All patches. All here. This is awful. And this is my normal foundation that I use. I've just put the MAC Studio Fix on, the exact same one that you see me use in all my videos. Here, it's just not, it's not kind of pressing it into my skin. It's, it's horrible. Mm. I hope you can see that. I really hope you can see that well, um, but on that note, I'm gonna not be lazy, go and grab a Lux Blender and try and sort this mess out. Okay, so I've just taken a few pictures for you, so hopefully if this doesn't show up true to life when I'm editing this, then I will input some of the pictures and hopefully they come out um, a bit better to show you what I mean. But yeah, I've got my blender and I should have done this from the start. So, as I said, this wasn't meant to be a talking video, I wanted to just put music all the way through and voice over it, but I'm just gonna dab a little bit more foundation onto those areas that haven't stuck and go over with my Lux Blender and hopefully we can sort this out. So I think this really shows the benefit of the blender, how well it really blends and makes your skin look really, really flawless, pushes it into the skin and just leaves a completely flawless finish. This is super soft as well and you can build coverage really easily. It's completely adaptable as well. So if you want really light coverage, then it's easy to achieve that. And then if you just pat over, um, add a little bit more product and pat over more, then you will build coverage really easily. Oh my God, that's so much better already. Honestly, it was so strange. It wasn't even sticking to my nose. It was kind of wiping away. It was really, really weird. So if any of you at home feel that you have that problem as well, when you're putting your foundation on, I do hear that quite a lot. My foundation isn't sticking and I've kind of always given the advice that it's down to your skincare and your skin prep, which it is as well. But that's really interesting to see what a difference there is just from my experience just then of using a brush compared to the blender. So if you are struggling, give the Lux Blender a go. I'll link it down below. These are just 5 99 and this is the same one that I've had for eight months. So it is money well spent and they really do last such a long time. So it's so worth your money to give that a try and hopefully that will work for you and make a big difference to how your bases are looking. I'm just gonna zoom you in and hopefully we'll see the difference there so obviously this is without powder or anything like that but I'm hoping that you can see the difference there and I'll put a few pictures up if that's not showing up but yeah that's enough of me talking and I'm going to carry on the way that this video was intended and put the music back on now <laughs> 